What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing good. Thank you very much for choosing us again. It's always a great pleasure. I know a lot of you come here every single day looking for me twice a day. Much appreciated. YouTube told us many of you guys, unfortunately, are not subscribed. Even though you watch the videos, you are not subscribed. Can I please ask you to subscribe now? Thank you. Okay, I see you from all over the place. I greet you. Jamaica, Wagwanmi Bars, United States of America. I salute you to the UK. I greet you from Nigeria, Ghana, Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Malawi, Somalia, Ethiopia, Gambia. Thank you so much. Okay, so Botswana Foreign Minister Lemohang Kwape has disclosed in an interview with the South African TV channel that the British government has approached them or had approached them to ask them to receive migrants from Africa. Yeah, <laughs> I know you are aware we spoke about this a few days ago. Britain has won the case. I mean, the Conservative Party has won the case to send people to Rwanda. They call it the Rwanda deal. What is the Rwanda deal about? The Rwanda deal is about taking migrants from Africa, mostly, that come from Europe, crossing the English Channel, looking for a better life in Britain. Okay, so basically, many Africans that happen to go to Europe feel like they get a much better opportunity to life in Britain. I don't know how you explain that. Some people say it's because of uh, the, you know, civil services that you get in Britain, uh, the help that you can get from, uh, you know, migrants and stuff like that. And again, Britain seems to be a much powerful country compared to France, Belgium and other countries. So many people, many Africans and some Asians as well that come to Europe as asylum seekers, We'll try to go to France, here's a map, at North Port Calais and try to traverse, to cross the sea to Britain. Okay, and it is dangerous because sometimes people, yeah, I, yeah, exactly. So now Britain has decided they don't want any of these people anymore. They don't want you anymore because having you in Britain for them is spending millions of dollars every single day in trying to feed you, in trying to keep you in a warm place in trying to give you, you know, the basics. It's cost a lot of money to taxpayers, so they don't want you anymore. But uh, yeah, paradoxically, uh, well, Britain has looted many countries in the world during colonialism. This is crazy, yeah? I mean, this is a country that went all over the world, an empire, completely obliterating other cultures, taking away from Indians, stealing diamonds, gold, and many other things. Yeah, going to Africa, going to South Africa, Nigeria, stealing gold, diamonds, you know, and now they say uh, it's too much money spending on immigrants crazy isn't it you see how it feels when you go to other people's place without announcing yourself or being invited okay interesting anyway let's get back to track so british people of the conservative party negotiated with rwanda to bring people to rwanda so that whenever an african or whoever immigrant comes to british through the english channel will be immediately embarked to a journey to rwanda initially it was we're going to take you to rwanda that's where we're going to assess your case we're going to investigate to see if you deserve to come to britain or not then things change they say hey, you know what we actually don't want you here if you come here illegally we're going to take you embark you to rwanda where you're going to find a house you're going to find food. They're going to try to integrate you to the society of Rwandese people. And many people are not happy about it. Activists are very angry about it. Many people, yeah. So, the, so there has been many bills. There is Stop the Boats that stops people from coming from France to Britain. There's the Rwanda deal, which is taking people from Britain to Rwanda. The Rwanda deal had had many opposition, many resistance. Some activists saying this is unfair, it's unacceptable. Why would you send somebody from Britain to Rwanda? It makes absolute no sense. Some people criticize Rwanda saying its human rights record was not clean. So there was no guarantee for the people that were, were going to travel to Rwanda. So many people opposed the bill. Now, let's get back to track. They went to court, they went to justice. After many battles, finally the conservatives have won. Winning means in 10 weeks from now, they're going to be deporting people from Britain to Rwanda, where these people will be obligated to start a brand new life. Now, the Botswana foreign minister has come forward to say that Britain contacted them before. Okay, They came to them with an offer saying we want to deport people from Britain to you. So we're now, whenever Africans come to our country, we're just going to pack them into boxes and send them to Botswana, where they're going to eat elephants. Anyway, they're not going to die hungry. I mean, Botswana has been complaining about the number of elephants, there are way too many elephants in Botswana. <laughs> yeah, so they're not going to be hungry. You just have to take an elephant and fry it or something. I'm just kidding. But yeah, they came to Botswana asking for Botswana to all these people. Now, Botswana refused to do it. In a funny interview, 
Minister Kwape stated that Botswana declined the request. He clarified that the contact was made by Britain Foreign Secretary and Ministry for Africa through diplomatic channels. So they came officially. Kwape emphasized that Botswana's decision was influenced by its own immigration challenges, asserting the British government does not want these people in their country, so they want to ferry them to a faraway country to receive unwanted immigrants from another country while we are dealing with our own problems in the region would be unfair to Botswana. So Botswana refused to have African shipped from Britain to Botswana. Let's get back to Trump. Before the British went to Rwanda, they came up with a crazy idea. They wanted to ship all immigrants to an island in the middle of the sea named Ascension, in the middle of nowhere. It's a volcanic island. It's got scorpions, snakes, lizards, and all creepy stuff you can ever imagine. I mean, just imagine you being taken away from London and be thrown into an island named Ascension where you're going to be living with snakes and scorpions. That guy is evil. <laughs> What's his name again? Boris Johnson. He came up with the idea. So let's send the Africans to Ascension where they're going to be living with serpents and scorpions and everything. Shouldn't be too difficult, by the way, because they come from Africa. So they are certainly used to serpents and scorpions and all that. Anyway, so that's crazy though, huh? You're thinking that. After that project fell, They went to Ghana to negotiate, hoping Ghana would say, okay, send them here. The Ghanaian government said, uh, unfortunately, we cannot accept this offer. We will not receive immigrants from Africa because of our personal issues. Then they went to Kenya, discussing with Kenyan government, hoping that Kenya would receive African immigrants in their country. Uh, Kenya, in the same token, said, uh, we are very busy with internal issues. We don't think we are ready to accept any immigrants coming from anywhere in the world. And then they went to Rwanda, discussed with Rwanda. They put money on the table, about $150 million dollars initially. Bath, do you want to take these people? Yes, we'll take them in. We have enough cows, we have milk. We have to pay for the milk though. We have beautiful women. Um, they're most likely not going to be like we now, but yeah, it's okay. Give us the money. So Rwanda said yes. My question is here, Botswana is coming forward saying Britain came to them as well. They refused the offer. Is there something morally wrong with Rwanda accepting this money? I want you to tell me. Do you feel it's wrong? Or do you feel you shouldn't be going to other people's country with no papers? And Rwanda is absolutely right to choose to accept whatever it's beneficial to them financially. I mean, $300 million, that could make a lot of things for a country, right? I mean, let's just think about it. $300 million, you could build roads, hospitals and stuff. They don't ask you to take ships and go to Europe. I understand there are many people out here that feel like Britain owes so much to Africa, let alone the rest of the world, from stealing, looting and taking away. So they shouldn't be complaining. They are the last people to complain about people coming to their country unannounced. Dude, you've been all over the place, all over the world, unannounced. Even in Argentina, come on. So you shouldn't be complaining about people coming to your house because that's what you've done. That's how you've built your kingdom, taken away from other people. I'm just being honest. I want you to tell me how you feel. Ghana said no. Kenya said no. Botswana now coming out forward saying that they were contacted to for the same issue. They said no. But Rwanda said yes, we're going to build. They, they are ready. They are actually very ready to accommodate you. It's a clean country. It's a nice place. Very secure. Has his own politics, his own stuff of politics, but yeah. Are you happy or not? You, you're going to go. This is, this is done to done deal. There's no negotiation. You're coming to Britain illegally to stay because I know a lot of African brothers go to Europe because they hope to have a much better life over there. They hope to get better opportunity, better salaries, so they can earn money and send back to their homes, build houses, help their family members. The idea of doing best, doing good, helping other people is good. The way of going, whether we like it or not, is not very legal because, yeah, most people go with, uh, you know, people that come with, come with airplanes will go with normal invitation. Some people even lie. They go to church, church invitation. They go with a church invitation. Once they get there, they overstay. They don't want to go back. And the people who don't get visas, they will try to get into Europe and cross. Let me know how you feel about this. Is there another way to this? Maybe stay in Africa, you know, and stop complaining, saying they're chasing us away. Stay in Africa and be rigorous with your minerals. Be angry with your stuff. Don't give away your woods, your, your timber. Don't give away your diamonds, your gold. Don't give away your stuff. And if your leaders are the bad people, take care of those leaders. I mean, there are plenty of ways of taking care of a leader. If he's not doing things the way he's supposed to do to benefit the community, <laughs> do deal with them. Before you leave, leave your comment. We need your comment. We need to read from you. Okay? Thank you. God bless.